This is an All Ears English podcast, episode 1959. Fingers crossed, how to show you care in English. Welcome to the All Ears English podcast, downloaded more than 200 million times. Are you feeling stuck with your English? We'll show you how to become fearless and fluent by focusing on connection, not perfection. With your American hosts, Lindsay McMahon, the English adventurer, and Michelle Kaplan, the New York radio girl, coming to you from Colorado and New York City, USA. To get real-time transcripts right on your phone and create your personalized vocabulary list, try the All Ears English app for iOS and Android. Start your seven-day free trial at allearsenglish.com forward slash app. When a friend or a colleague expresses that they hope something will happen, what can you say to let them know you are on their side? Today, get this powerful connection skill with one simple English phrase. Hey, Michelle, what's shaking? Hey, Lindsay, not too much. How are you? I'm feeling great today. What are we talking about on Allers English today? Well, fingers crossed I can take a trip this summer. I mean, Lindsay, you have, don't you have a trip coming up in May? I do. I'm going to Egypt in May. Oh my gosh. I am super excited. And I'm hoping wow. to meet some of our listeners there too. Oh, actually. is that right? Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. I'll make a more formal announcement, but I'll let our listeners know. I think it'd be so cool <laughs> to plan a dinner in Cairo oh, with our listeners. Wow. <laughs> How amazing would that be? That would be amazing. Fingers yeah, crossed fingers that crossed. works out. Yes. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I really love it. So, Michelle, today we're talking about a really common expression, right? Of mm-hmm. saying fingers crossed. What did you mean when you said that? Fingers crossed. It basically meant hopefully, <laughs> like, but in more <laughs> of a in, in more of a superstitious kind of way. Not really, it's not really superstitious. It, would you say it's superstitious? <clears throat> kind of. Kind of. Yeah. There's something superstitious about it for sure. Yeah, there is. Yeah. I don't know why we ever decided that having our, it might go back to something. I don't know what it goes back to. Oh. Um, we don't know. Uh, so I actually, I actually have, a, I actually you have, know. A, you do know. Well, well, <laughs> I, I have a link. I didn't, I, I skimmed it, but there's something, I mean, okay. I, I can, I, I can pull it up later. Um, we'll get into it. We'll when get we get, into yeah, it. we get into yeah. it. You can click on the link too, so you can take a look. Cool. But um, guys, before we get into it, we want to remind you to hit follow wherever you're listening to the All Ears English podcast, because guys, we don't want you to miss anything. And mm-hmm. it's very important that you actually hit the follow button. Um, so it. take a second to do that today. Exactly. So I'm going to read our listener question to get right into it right away. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. All right. I've been following your program for five years. Five years, Michelle. That is amazing. That is so good. I've been learning many useful English expressions that I have no chance to get from the textbook. I noticed that some of my foreign colleagues usually say fingers crossed when they're hoping to see something good happen. Can you explain it a little bit and perhaps introduce some similar expressions? And this is May from the U.S. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. And May was also asking about other luck expressions. So that is a great. Yes. Yeah, this is great. Um, this is great. So, guys, we did we did briefly mention this expression in episode five forty, which was yes. how to wish your friend good luck before a job interview in English. Right. Um, right. And then there's another episode we want to direct you guys to, Lindsay. What is it? Yeah, it's 585. And it is this episode is going to be great. Knock on wood, right? That's so fun. (laughs) So guys, if you're listening in the Allers English app, whether it's the Android or the iOS, you can just type in that episode number at the top of the episode list. So that's a really easy way to find the episode you want by listening to the app. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, awesome. So um, this listener says, um, I quote that it said when the colleagues are hoping to see something good happen. Yeah. Happen. So, <clears throat> Lindsay, do you, would you say fingers crossed? Is that something you would say? Yeah, it is. I think I used to say this a lot as a kid. Mm-hmm. And I think I actually believed it, too. Like, I I, <laughs> yeah. I think I used to cross my fingers and actually believe that that was going to make the thing happen or not happen Aww, sometimes. Yeah. That's cute. I, <laughs> yeah. I mean, basically, this is like saying, I hope so. Right. right. Or it, have you ever seen uh, there's also a, a fingers crossed, I think, on emoji on the phone. 
Um, yeah, 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 for sure. That would be kind of a cool thing to use, actually. I would I would say it's fun to use those little emojis sometimes. Not overuse yeah. them, but use them, right? Right, 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 exactly. So um you might say um just about you're hoping something will happen, or you might ask someone to cross their fingers for you or mm-hmm. like to, oh, to, right. to give you the good luck. Or you might even tell someone that you will cross your fingers for them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So it's not just fingers crossed. There's a lot of ways to approach this, right? Michelle, and we're going to show right. you guys a lot of them today. Right. Well, so let's go ahead and do some examples okay. here. Yeah, here we go. So here, I'll, I'll, I'll go first. I have a big meeting coming up. I hope my boss assigns me the new big project. I think I can handle it. Oh, wow, Lindsay, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Nice. Okay, so this is a connection skill. Clearly a connection skill, guys, because this is a way to show people that you are on their side, right? Mm -hmm. It's Mm -hmm. so positive, Michelle. That's true. It does show that you're on their side, that you hope that good things happen for them, that you hope what they want will happen. So Mm -hmm. I think that it's a really it's a really good thing to use. So again, you could say you could say fingers crossed or I'll keep my fingers crossed for you is another way you could do it, right? Yeah, exactly. And we did another episode, 1126 with superstitions, traditions, how to talk about them in your culture. You know, I think that American culture might be less superstitious than some older cultures. Mm, That's the sense I get at least, but I don't know. It'd be interesting to hear from our listeners. Right. That is interesting. So let's do another role play. So here we go. So if I get an A on my exam, fingers crossed, I will treat myself to a fancy dinner. Good luck, Michelle. I'll cross my fingers for you. It's kind of cool how you put that right in the middle of the sentence and you use really nice intonation. Could you say that one more time? What you said? Thank you so much. (laughs) So I said, so if I get on it, so I said, so if I get an A on my exam, fingers crossed, I will treat myself to a fancy dinner. It's important to do that, right? To really distinguish the three pieces of that phrase, that phrase by making a different intonation, making it sound Mm -hmm. different. Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. I'll treat myself to a fancy dinner. Right. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Or let's do one more. Yeah, I really think we have a chance to win this game. Fingers crossed. (laughs) Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Do you know anyone who's super, very superstitious? Super superstitious. Super superstitious. That's hard to say. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, do I know anyone who's, um, I would say (laughs) my sister-in-law is pretty superstitious. She does a lot of the knocking on the wood and, um, (laughs) you know, I I would say that she's a little bit superstitious, but, um, what about you? Do you know anybody? Not really. It makes me think of baseball players that don't change their socks, things like Uh, that. Yeah. yeah, That kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, yeah, not shaving your beard, their beard yeah. for like a whole right, month right, right. or, Ugh. you know, for the playoffs or something like that. Yeah. Um, Where so, does this yeah. come from, Michelle, by the way? So go ahead on and take a look at this, guys. This is from EnglishGrammarLessons.com. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, I'm just going to, you know, quickly, quickly go through a little bit of yeah. it. But yeah, um, the idiom orange, uh, or, 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 orange. <laughs> orange <laughs> from a long yeah. time ago, it mentions that the it, it, something in uh, with pagans um in europe um with oh. crossing fingers to like f- like something about a, a, a christian symbol basically uh, right okay that makes sense um yeah that this is supposed to show good luck so i'm i'm kind of paraphrasing this uh, okay. um mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. yeah but then it also says I'm just going to quote, in the 14th century in wartime, soldiers would avoid crossing fingers with each other as a sign of good luck. Mm. The the saying would evolve in writing much later as an expression of good luck. Language experts are unsure of the first appearance of the phrase in writing. So, guys, um, we can leave the link for that if you want to look more. But so it looks like kind of that wasn't that wasn't a complete history right there. Just some paraphrasing things to think about. Interesting. No, it makes sense. It goes back to religion. It's probably a very old phrase. Goes back to Christianity. Makes sense. Makes sense. I mean, all these phrases, they come from somewhere, right? They're just, right, they're not just necessarily course. made up, although some are, but these are old mm-hmm. phrases. So it's kind of fun if you're into etymology or looking yeah. up the history of language, check that out. Go down the rabbit hole, guys. Why not? <laughs> why not? Okay. Awesome. So, I mean, uh, Lindsay, why, why do you think this phrase can bring about connection? Like, <laughs> what can it do? This is huge. And this is our focus at All There's English, guys. How can you connect this is huge. You know, when you say you take this little extra effort to show them that you really care, you really want them to achieve that thing or have that good luck that they're hoping for. 
it really feels good, right? To know that someone's on your side. So Mm -hmm. you show someone you care about their hopes and dreams and wishes. You express Mm -hmm. that something is important to you as well. Yeah. And it's fun to use it. It's fun. It is fun. Especially when you, when you shorten it and you say, fingers crossed. That's fun. Fingers (laughs) crossed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> so michelle what is something in your life that you want to keep your fingers crossed about right now give me some details okay it's funny because when i plan these i'm always asking you the question and then i don't <laughs> and then you always ask it to me and i'm like i was i want to know about you i don't know um fingers crossed that will happen in 2023 um well I think I spoke about it. I mean, hopefully I'll be maybe looking for a house um, yes. in 2023. Yeah. So fingers crossed. I yep. find something in my price mm-hmm. range, which mm-hmm. is not easy right now. Um, But something that yeah. I like that's in a, a nice area where I can still walk to some places and could yeah. be a big change. But we'll see. Fun. I'm sure we'll have some episodes on, you know, skills for house hunting that our listeners oh, can learn gosh. that we can apply to other things. That'll be really fun to keep up with you on that. It's an adventure. It really is. Just get ready to pound the pavement, Michelle. I mean, it's a different oh, market now than it was when I bought in 20, uh, 21. Things have changed mm-hmm. a lot with the housing market. So you might have more options or just a better leg up, you know? Oh, a leg up. What is that? Like an advantage, advantage. just because mm-hmm. I think that I think it's more of a buyer's market rather than a seller's market. When I bought yeah. in the fall of 2021, it was like people were bidding on top of asking price by 50K minimum. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's oh, not wow. really happening oh, anymore. My gosh. You know, so there's not as much competition is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. OK, well, <laughs> let's let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I haven't started yet, but we'll see. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what about you? Anything for 2023? Oh, you know what I'm really hoping for? Fingers. This might be pushing my luck a little bit, um, but I really want to go to India. I know you've been to oh. India, Michelle, and I'm envisioning maybe next December. Maybe it'll end up being January or February of 2024. But I really want to see India. Mm, in my oh, lifetime I, yes yeah. oh well i i fingers i'll, I'll keep my fingers <laughs> crossed for you Lindsay. i think yeah. i yeah i loved my trip to india so oh. I, i'm sure you would love it yeah i mean you just kind of have to see that country it's just so huge and amazing and historical um and i'm just i'm ready for it so i've got to pencil this in and just book the flights you know, yes, I have to do, do it. it. Fingers do crossed. It. So, what Fingers else? Crossed. What else? Yeah. All right. Well, so the listener also asked about any other expressions about luck. So <laughs> I just wanted to, you know, focus on two. Um, yeah. So one is about luck, and one is about hope. Yes. Really. So, mm-hmm. what is the first one? With any luck, and I love this one. It's very natural too. Or so, for example, guys, with any luck, we'll be celebrating our birthday in California next year. And this is used a lot when we talk about this time next year, right? So, Mm -hmm. you know, for you, Michelle, with any luck, by this time next year, you'll be in your new home, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, it's crazy to think about. It's a bittersweet feeling. Yeah, for sure. It's good. It's good. (laughs) It's good. It's good. And then uh, the next one is just hope for the best, right? So I could say, oh, wow, I really want to get that job. Well, let's hope for the best. Yeah. Okay. And again, another connection phrase, because again, you're showing that person you really care what happens. And that's kind of the takeaway for today, Michelle, right? Mm-hmm. You're getting on their side. Right, right. Showing that you like it means something to you that they are happy. Exactly. And happen for them. So this is just a, a ton of connection and also expressing mm-hmm. what's important to you. And also yes. maybe asking someone, hey, like, you know, give me, you know, good thoughts, like yeah. fingers crossed, keep your fingers crossed for me. So it's showing what's important to you and showing that you that somebody is, is somebody's happiness is important to you. Exactly. And, you know, I think for our listeners, guys, this is what we're all about. Connection, not perfection. When you can get out of that cycle of being afraid of making a mistake, then your mind has space for things like this, where you're Mm -hmm. giving, right? You're giving, you're showing through your voice, your tone of voice, your choice of words, even your body language that you really want your friend or this person in front of you to achieve what they want in their lives. It's huge. Your life Mm -hmm. will then change, right? You'll be more, Mm -hmm. you'll be happier. You'll have better relationships. Huge. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's great. Well, that's a good point, Lindsay. So thanks for talking about this with me today. And guys, we'll keep our fingers crossed for you for anything that you are hoping <laughs> for yourself in 2023 and beyond. And beyond. Good stuff, Michelle. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, hit follow on All Ears English Podcast if you love our philosophy of connection, not perfection. Michelle, talk to you soon. Have a good Bye. one. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to All Ears English. Would you like to know your English level? Take our two-minute quiz. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash fluency score. And if you believe in connection, not perfection, then hit subscribe now to make sure you don't miss anything. See you next time.